good morning one and all welcome to the workshop at the end of this video you will be able to understand what is regression and what are the different types of regression and how to carry out a regression problem in the software SPSS in correlation analysis we have studied the nature of the relationship between two or more variables which are closely related to each other by the degree of relationship after knowing the relationship between two variables researchers may be interested to know its magnitude and the fact that which variable affecting the other variable that is cause and effect relationship between two variables which cannot be studied using correlation so by knowing cause and effect relationship we may be interested in estimating or predicting the value of one variable given the value of another so by this the relationship between the dependent and the independent variable may be expressed as a function and such functional relationship is termed as a regression the term regression literally means written back or moving back or stepping back towards the average it was the first used by the British biometrician Sir Francis Galton in 1887 in the study of his heritage. He reported his discovery that size of seeds of pea plants appeared to revert or regress to the mean size in successive generations. So the regression will give us, it will estimate the relationship that exists and the average between the dependent variable and an independent variable that is an explanatory variable so it will determine the effect of each of the explanatory variables on the dependent variable controlling the effects of all other explanatory variables so it will also predict the value of dependent variable for a given value of explanatory variables so in this we see there are different types of regression analysis so uh, generally regression is classified into simple and multiple and again it is being uh, classified into linear and non-linear here we focus on linear regression model only non-linear is uh, when the degree of uh, the value of is increased to one uh, two or more that means when the degree is increased to 2 means it becomes quadratic, it is increased to 3 means it becomes cubic and so on. Here we focus on linear regression only. So before carrying out any kind of regression, we need to follow certain assumptions that are restricted to uh, for carrying out the regression analysis. All the variables uh, should be uh, follow normal normality. It conditions has to be followed. The equality of the variance of this error, and uh, that means uh, the error term of the residuals has to follow normal zero comma one, and it should not be multicollinearity. All the independent should be not be multicollinearity. No correlation of the errors. No autocorrelation of the errors. And then here. We understand the simple linear regression by this example. Simple linear regression will always have one dependent variable and one independent variable. Here dependent variable is y and independent variable is x. So beta naught and beta 1. So here b1, b naught and b1. So here yeah, because it's an example so here they have given an estimated grades and a study time estimated grade seems to be a dependent variable and study time is seems to be an independent variable so as study time increases automatically estimated grades increases so it gives certain magnitude so beta naught intercept and b1 is a slope So here this is a multiple uh, regression model. Here we have increased the number of independent variables to n plus epsilon that is error term which follows normal distribution uh, normal 0 comma 1. 
So y is a dependent variable beta naught, beta 1, beta 2, up to beta n all these are coefficients x1, x2, xn all these are explanatory variables or independent variables e no, uh, that is f long naught is a random error residual term. So all these things are comes under multiple regression model. So here we see an example which is of multiple regression that means it has one dependent variable that is y that is output that we call it as yield and two independent variables that is x1 and x2 called as fertilizer and a seed. The following table gives uh, the data with regard to the cost of the produce of the wheat per acre and the cost of the inputs in rupees at uh, different uh, farmer field find the contribution of the output of the factors so here what we need to do we need to carry out uh, how much contribute it will do how much contribute to the fertilizer and the seed will for the output So here uh, we need to run the multiple linear regression analysis through SPSS that I have already run and put uh, the results here but I will show you how to run the uh, multiple linear regression in the SPSS. When you open this one uh, you will get a data view I have already entered the data view output fertilizer seed all these are data sets which I have entered your variable view can be seen output fertilizer and seed and here go to analyze go to regression go to linear because it's a linear regression So here, so here what we need to do, dependent variable is output which I have selected, independent variables which I have selected is uh, fertilizer and the seed which we have generally and in this statistics column we have lot many uh, options to fit the model and the NARS descriptives and uh, Darwin Watson and so many things we will be having, just continue and we will be having a plots also but we don't do that now at present uh, so just click ok when you click ok you will going to gen uh, it will going to generate certain kind of an output which having descriptive statistics correlations and then r square model summary and then uh, coefficient table so fertilizer is 6.106 and seed is 4.812 so how to how we need to uh, so here we need to see the significant value 0 0.001 0 0.005 so which is less than 0 0.05 so which is less than 0 0.05 means fertilizer contributes significantly for the growth of the output of that particular yield so seed Uh, the good quality of the seed seed also good quality of the seed will also contribute to the growth of the yield so the contribution is significant if it is not significant the contribution is not significant uh, so how we need to interpret this beta coefficient the one unit of change in the fertilizer one unit of change in the fertilizer six kgs of uh, mm, yield will increase are 6 kgs are the number of the units which they have mentioned so this is the output and r square seems to be quite good that is 78 by 0 0.78 78 percent of variation is explained through this equation so now hmm, i have given uh, the output equation so you can directly interpret the simple uh, equation like this when we have uh, one or um, two or more independent variables 
so n number of variables increases uh, the model uh, becomes more strong and the number of observations also should be more thank you if you have any doubts please contact me thank you